what is up guys back to another video and today i'm bringing you guys the second episode of this series i'm still not sure what to call this when you're watching this of course this series will have a name i'm just pre-recording a lot of videos because i'm going on vacation this week and uh, yeah but before we go into this episode i'm just going to say that i'm doing a 10,000 coins giveaway once again now i will be announcing the winners over on twitter in a few days from the both giveaways i did yesterday and today so if you guys want to be entered into the second giveaway as well make sure you guys like this video uh, subscribe to my channel and comment down below that uh, saying that you've just done no things and in a few days when I get back home from my vacation I will pick the 10,000 coins giveaway as winners and uh, yeah I will send them through you on uh, Twitter and uh, yeah just make sure to be on the PlayStation uh, just PlayStation market I guess so PS3 or PS4 and uh, yeah so in this video I'm going to show you guys another method as I said and if you guys don't know what this series is all about basically I'll show you guys maybe five or six trading methods during this whole series one method every episode and at the end of the series you guys vote which method you think was the best during the series and I think will be one of the better and best training methods in FIFA 15. Now as I said this is going to be the second episode and uh, yeah in the last episode we, do do, we did do one of the best methods I have ever yet yeah, or have tried out so far on FIFA 15. So today we're also going to do a really good method. And by the way guys, there will be a new episode of this series every day at 6.30pm or half 7pm UK time. So make sure you guys just, uh, just stick around for that 6.30pm UK time every single day and you will get yourself a new episode. Now let's go on to this method and what do you want to do? I'm going to go into quality silver, then you want to go into camera assault. We're still trading with camera assault because it is just so freaking effective after you've done that go over to CDM you want to start there first and then you basically just want to search as you can see here we do have two players right here this Durley right here if this guy was a little bit of a better player I would have picked that one up for 2,500 coins uh, because as you can see the next cheapest is 4,900 coins and if you got this you could have either way sold this on for 3,500 coins because there's always people that get tricked and think that that oh my god that's going to be a great deal but as you can see this player is not the best not the best of leagues either so I would not really recommend and picking him up but if this guy was out for like 2500 coins i would pick him up straight away bundesliga and he is from france so that would be a great player right there but it's still not the best right there let's go over to cm right here and as you can see we have one player here called ayu now if there's only one on the market and you know what and don't know what to do basically just go on to compare price Look up his original price, and as you can see there, even though there's only one on the market, as you can see, he is a striker. Uh, if you want to do the calculations, you can go ahead and do it. I think it would cost around 2,500 coins to convert him down to CM, uh, which would put him up to around... Yeah, to actually around 4,000 coins, plus the catalyst is around 2k, so I would not really recommend picking up this IO right here. So, if you ever are... If you even are uh, just wondering what he's actually going for, just go on over to compare price and you will see it right there. Now the last thing I want to do is go on to CAM, see if there's anything here. And as you can see, there's two players here, Lobby on here. Oh my god, just look at those stats. You want to go on over to him, see what he actually goes for. He goes for 2,600 coins. So uh, actually 1,800 coins, that is extremely cheap. I might want to try that that guy out as well. But of course, if this guy, if this guy was on the market for about, let's say, 2,000 500 coins as well, I would pick him up straight away, and I've seen actually quite a few cards been out on the market for around 2,500 coins that I've actually been picking up, so uh, yeah, that would be a great deal there, and as you can see, Shelby right here, let's quickly see what he's actually going for, he's only going for 1.5k, so I would not picking up, pick, recommend picking him up either, but he's actually a really popular player, so if he were on the market for around 3k, I would pick him up, try to sell him on for around 3,700 or 3,800 coins. After you've done that, go on to center forward, see if there's anything there, there's not there's not usually any C uh, center forwards there. And as you can see, the last one we have striker, and this is Yildrim. Yildrim. Let me look at his price. That guy is relatively cheap. As you can see, goes for 500 coins. Now, because this guy is the only one in the market and is so cheap, I'm actually going to pick him up. Just the fact that it's the only silver in the on the market that actually has a catalyst camera system on him and it's so cheap. As you can see, my transfer list is currently full. So I will just store him in my club and I will sell him on for around 1,000 coins profit, I would say. Try to sell him for that and let's see if it does sell. I think it will sell as well because, as you can see, he's the only one on the market and I just picked him up. That This is just a bug that EA are showing a few times. 
Now let's go into the next thing what you want to do after you've done the catalyst go over to CDM again and do shadow You just want to do that shadow and catalyst is probably the best to do with and as you can see here We do have one for 2,000 I've only placed that a bit straight away because I know that this guy he goes for around 800 coins but, but shadow oh my god that camera just is going for a lot so as you can see here even 3,000 coins that is extremely cheap as you can see the next one is like 7k or something and this is 3k that is relatively cheap uh, I think, um, no, if he went for, hmm, that is, I maybe want to pick him up, but then I'm only going to be making a few hundred coins, so we'll see about that, but it's uh, still a possible de deal there. These are also pretty cheap as well, so I would, yeah, I would not pick up uh, either of these. For example, if this, if this one was for 4,000 and this was for uh, 2,600, I would pick up this one, of course, but uh, it's not, so um, I'm just not going to pick it up. See if there's any CAM, center forwards, or strikers. And no, not right wings. You can also do this with right wings, by the way. But I don't think it, or I find it, it's not working that well. But anyways, guys, that is the end of the method. Sometimes if you do this, if you just tune back down to this method every 10 minutes, you might might be finding a good deal. And if you do find a deal, the deal will be pretty good. And yeah, it's been working a little, a little slow for me the latest days because um. It worked just really, really well for me at the start of the web. Now it's not working too good, but I promise you guys this method, you can get some good deals. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the second episode of today, or second episode of this series. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and comment saying that you'd like to subscribe uh, to be entered into the 10,000 coins giveaway as well. And hey guys, make sure you guys watch the first episode if you didn't do so already. And yeah guys, I will see you guys tomorrow with another episode. Make sure you guys tune in at 6.30pm UK time and hey guys i'll see you guys tomorrow goodbye